<laughs> you want to know the cheapest way to set up a reef tank without any plan, without any connections and with just a small amount? That's the way I would do it. and welcome to Sea Friendly Reef. It makes me very proud to hear that a lot of you want to start with that beautiful hobby because we have inspired you with our videos. But doesn't matter why you want to do this. Maybe you want to change from fresh water to salt water because I don't know. Come on! Or you want to make your first experience with aquariums. In that video, I want to show you my cheapest way to set up a small nano reef tank. I want to spend around about 300 euros for that. So let's see if we are able to do it with that small amount. What we need at first, yes, a reef tank. So my first address for that is eBay. So I find a lot of reef tanks, about 250 euro, but that's too much. We need it cheaper. Okay, maybe I've got something. 165 euros. I love eBay. It's so damn practical. So what will it cost? Uh, 165 euros. So let's see if we can get it cheaper. <laughs> nice! Yeah. So, did you get a discount? Uh, 15 euros. So, I paid 150 euros. But these two guys are extremely friendly and I've got some very nice stuff here. Let's see what we've got. So, it's a 30 liter cube. 30 to 30 to 30 centimeters. And we have got a heater, a flow pump. Mm, it smells like the sea. And we have got a beautiful lightning system because the Aquamatic 50 cube. I had this LED on one of my last tanks and I was very happy with it. So for 150 euros, we have got nearly everything we need to start for keeping reefs. Normally it is not a problem to buy used aquariums. However, I would look very well at the edges and the silicone. If there is damage and the silicone is already too porous, I would not buy it. We have to clean our nano tank first and for that we use citric acid and no chemicals. That would be bad for the biology in our aquarium. So that you have no bumps, I always put a small mat under the tank. This was included at our eBay buy. When we install the lightning, in case, make sure that your lamp is suitable for salt water. On eBay often people sell you a fresh water lamp and simply say that it is for salt water. So keep care of that. Next step, sand. I always use live sand because it already contains good bacteria for reefs. My tanks always have only a thin layer of sand, about 2 to 3 centimeters. Now we start with the water. Here we need about 25 liters of salt water. The most important thing is a towel. No matter what skills you have, believe me, you will need it. If you power the water carefully on a small plate, the sand will not swell up so much. But if you wash the sand before or not, doesn't matter. Afterward, it will look like this. Don't worry, that's normal. Nice, if we have all that, it comes to the stones. So you maybe hear the word live rocks or living stones. And no, these are not Pokemons. But what shall we use here? Live rocks are mostly taken directly from the sea or have been in aquariums for a long time. Here you will find a lot of different animals and small organisms that can be good or bad for your aquarium. I always choose the real reef rocks because here you do not damage the nature. These are dead reef rocks covered with a layer of bacteria. Take your time and think about how you want to plan your aquascape before you buy the rocks. 
I found a nice small one. So then we need some corals. Normally I would prefer always shops, doesn't matter if they are online or not. But in this way we need the cheapest corals we can find. So for this project I would just use some soft corals, maybe a few LPS. And my tip for you is to check out some Facebook groups, WhatsApp groups, the internet, Normally in every area somebody want to sell some corals and we will find that person. After a while I found some great soft corals and even a small LPS for only 45 euros together. For storage I put them into our main tank for a short time. They are awesome and our swim shady liked them directly. Feels good, huh? But you have to leave that place, man. In our nano tank we now need the heater on 25 degrees. Next to that we need a pump for current. Here it's better to use pumps cleaning also the water surface. Also the flow in your tank is enormously important for saltwater aquariums. So two days later the view in our milkshake reef tank wherever you want to call it is a bit better so we can start as you can see i've got two test corals already inside regarding to the salt here i use the ati absolute ocean but it doesn't matter you can use nearly every salt from the brand you want to because there are some great companies outside most important check before putting the corals in is the temperature and the solidity after that we take our stone, a normal super glue and our corals. Especially soft corals can be easily placed with super glue, there you want to have them. It is best to make sure that they do not touch each other because some animals can hurt each other. When you put that whole thing into the tank it looks like this. For the corals this is extreme stressful, but if everything is right, they will recover in just a few hours. This is the perfect time to light a candle and relax a bit on our Reef Relax channel. <laughs> So it's the day after and I'm happy to say that our corals feel fine and the water is much clearer than yesterday. This tank will run only with water changes. So we are talking about 10 to 15% every second week. Also, I'm not going to keep fish in that tank because we don't have a skimmer. Of course, you can do that without a skimmer, no problem. But I think the tank is too small for some fish. Okay, what did we pay? We paid 150 euro for the whole tank with technique. We paid 45 euros for every coral. We paid 35 euros for the stone. And we paid about 20 euros for the water, for the salt and our life sand. So that's also around about 20 to 30 euros. Nice! So we easily bought a nano aquarium with these great animals for under 300 euros. Of course this is not everything you have to know about that hobby, but I try to give you a little insight in the cheapest way to keep reef tanks. So if you've got any questions, write them down under this video. I know there are a lot of pros on that channel, so I'm sure you got an answer from the Sea Friendly Reef family. Let's help all the beginners for having a great start in the reefer hobby.